We got a potential good picture spot for you by the water, and we'll see if we can get some good shots of you and of you and Rule's car. Shout out to the goats over at Sweet Waffles and Boba. Hands down, some of the most amazing bubble tea drinks out there, and their waffles are amazing, literally. Today's more of like a vloggy vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video. I haven't seen Brandon in a while. He just came back from Florida, so now we're just like just chilling again. So. Way too long, bro. This is kind of, I thought we were going to be closer by the water, but like right over there, we're not as close as I want it to be. So spot number one, I'll give a 6 out of 10. For a street named Atlantic Ave, you're pretty far away from the Atlantic, bud. <laughs> yeah, that spot was okay, but we didn't get as close as we wanted to, so now we're trying to scout for like anything closer. Good prices, great cannabis, and free delivery. God bless America. We have decided that there is too much traffic and there is not enough like scenic stuff around this area right now for us to get a good photo, so we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> but it's okay because we got one good photo, or a couple good photos actually, so I'm, I'm set with that. We did our best. We ain't Crispy Media out here. <laughs> Woo! Why your car sounds so good? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the actual video guys. Don't mind me, currently right now I'm actually at work. My new job, I work at a Subaru dealership, ironically enough. Currently trying to just mess with an O2 sensor because Sabrina doesn't want to start. The other day on my way to work, she completely died on me and I was thinking maybe it might be the O2 sensor upstream. Could be the fact that I have uh, the header exhaust leak or even possibly the, the tune that we're running right now in the FPR. So there's a few things that I want to check to make sure that she's up to spec. I am also going with a new tuner just because when I prime it, like, like I showed you guys before, it's around 60 PSI and that's too high. And when I told my tuner, he was not really much of a help and I've heard a lot of things about that guy. So I'm not going to slander him, but I am going to go to a different tuner. I also found out the other day, once I uh, towed it to my job, that we are leaking from injector one, probably from the, from the O-rings. I think maybe when I was putting them in, I might have just crunched them a little bit. This plug and play harness wasn't properly crimped, so we're going to take care of that. But there are some things that I wanted to talk to you guys about as far as like how the channel's gonna go, the you know the, the car and everything. And I wanna make it super clear and straightforward so that there's no confusion or any crazy expectations or lack thereof in the future. I am 22 years old trying to figure my life out still and I know what I want to do. It's just a matter of how I'm gonna get there. I genuinely would like to be an automotive YouTuber, but I also like music. I would like to be a musician and artist as well. And I uh, just want to make sure that I'm financially comfortable. And currently, right now, we are trying to make a couple of moves to, you know, get a new place. We're trying to get a second car so that in situations like this where mine is down, we have transportation still. And uh, we're just trying to figure out a couple of things. So with that being said, videos might be coming out a little bit slower than normal. I'll still post shorts for you guys, obviously. Um, but actual content might be lacking a little bit. Like right now, I'm kind of just trying to diagnose and figure out problems. So until then, I'm probably going to be a little bit on the quieter side. And as much as I love this car and I want it to work and it's a huge project for me and I've been at it for two years and really, really getting into it this past year, certain things are kind of holding me back from moving forward with life and this car is one of them. 
and I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to sell it, but I am doing my hardest to make sure that I get it running again optimally. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want anyone else to have it. I want to build my car and finish it and see my dream come true. But I also want to make sure that I'm stable and set for my next couple of years in life. So, old girl's going to be down for a little bit until we can really figure out what's going on with her. She's not going away though. She will be back soon. Other than that, there was literally not really much else I wanted to talk to you guys about. I just wanted to kind of clear up the space with you and uh, set expectations so that when videos do come out and when they have a weird schedule, you guys weren't confused or expecting more. Whew, got that off my chest. Now we can talk about the fun stuff. Trying to replace a front O2 sensor in one of these cars while it's still in the car is not recommended. And I would definitely say drop the headers just to make it easy on yourself. Especially if it's never been out in the 200,000 miles that the car has been alive. And this is proving to be a lot more annoying than I thought it was going to be. But what would I expect? It's a Subaru! Honestly, I'm just going to pass on it for right now. Just because I know that the longer I try this, the more irritated I'm going to make myself. Go down. Boom! Wow! Alright, let's just throw this stuff back in there just so nothing gets in there. My car's been sitting here for about like three or four days. I've been a sad boy, guys. Oh no, this is white in the front, black in the back. And then we'll just throw that back on. And she's temporarily back together. Something else that I do want to show you guys is uh, I pulled out spark plugs from cylinders one and three. They look like they were kind of burnt. If you guys look at the threading, it's kind of like a lot darker up there. But if you look at the diodes, they're kind of white so i'm not really sure which one i should be looking at to tell what's going on in that cylinder also just picked up some extra coil packs like these are just these are just some used ones but they're in better condition than mine let's go take a walk and see what cool cars we have on the lot huh coming over here we've got two o3s this is one of the other mechanics here uh it's a work in progress i guess it's blown and then he bought this one as a donor car. He's been trying to like steadily build it, but has been losing motivation. I get it, cause me too. And if we come right here, here's an 05 blob eye that was built by some kid. He manual swapped it from an automatic. It's got the hella horns and a harness bar in there. And it's pretty cool. I'd show you more of that car, but it's a customer car and I'm not just gonna go like opening up people's stuff. But I will show you this 05 cause it belongs to one of the uh, technicians here. He's a cool guy. This is a 05 WRX that has been completely swapped to an STI. It's got STI drivetrain, 6-speed DCCD, got the STI BBSs along with the Brembos on there. Only reason he's not driving it is because something with the caliper got messed up, but super clean. And lastly is this Forester, again owned by a technician. Nothing crazy about it, they just all look, you know, really, really clean. It's got the quick release in there. Got some cool people with some cool cars. 2015 over there, some nice wheels. There was a 03 wagon that had the Carlton fender flares on there and a nice set of brakes, but I don't know where she went. <laughs> but I'm going to end this right now just because I wanted it to be kind of like a quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride to Boba and everything. I haven't been there in a while. Seeing Brandon was cool, so I'm going to try to get some stuff out for you guys soon. But like I said, I'm taking a little bit of a break just to get my whole life a little bit stabilized. But I appreciate you guys for watching and come back for the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.